To keep code test coverage high, you need to ensure that a merge request to your code base never decreases test coverage indicators. And how can you do that? Enforce testing in your code by enabling code coverage merge request approval rule. My name is William and today I will demo code coverage merge request approval rule released in GitLab 14.1. So here is my project where we can see I have 100% test coverage. My script is very simple. I am just remembering my high school days and writing code to find the area of squares. Let's add another function, but this time to find the area of a triangle. I will do it right here using the web IDE. So I define the function and return the triangle area. One half base times height. All right, I commit the changes. This will start my CI pipeline. And when it's done, I can see that my 100% code test coverage decreased to 88%, probably because I didn't add any test to that triangle function. In addition to that, we can also see that my merge request has coverage check rule enabled, which means that this person will have to approve my MR. But I already know this won't be approved because a merge request that decreases test coverage cannot be merged. So I better fix this. And next time I will write the test before the main code. Well, this is also helping me to improve my skills. I add a couple of tests to that function, the triangle function that we wrote before. By the way, in this case, I am using PyTest and the calls to it are defined within the GitLab CI YAML file. Commit the changes and that's all. My CI pipeline will run again and let's see what it says. Now, as the approver, I see that the test coverage didn't decrease. It didn't decrease with this merge request. So this is good to go. I approve it and make it available to be merged. The code, co the code coverage check approval will help us to keep test coverage high and enforce good development practices. All right, the merge request was approved and we still keep that 100% test coverage. So now it is possible to merge. The changes are merged. I wanna give it a thumbs up and that's all. Stay tuned and let's continue learning at GitLab. Links to the public documentation to enable this feature the Python project and GitLab Learn in the video description.